Today's lesson, maybe and maybe. I was reading an email this morning someone had sent me, and it had the word maybe, and I thought, oh, that's the perfect lesson because we get this mixed up all the time. My class before you said that they didn't know that these were two different words. So which one do you use? Do you use a compound word or do you use the two separate words? Or you use both? Oh, I, use, I use both. You use both? I use the compound. You use the compound. Okay. But I bet you you're going to learn something new today. Listen to this. Maybe the compound word, it can be substituted with possibly. Maybe, possibly. And it can be left out of the sentence. The compound can be left out. If you leave the compound word out of the sentence, the sentence makes sense. If you leave the two separate words out, the sentence doesn't make sense at all. And it's a verb. This may be as an adverb, but this may be as a verb. And you can't leave a verb out of a sentence because what two parts of a sentence is a, what two things does a sentence need to be a sentence? A noun and a what? Pronoun. No, a noun and a verb. Yeah. Okay. So a sentence needs a noun and a verb. So if you leave a verb, this out, the sentence makes no sense. So let's look at this one. Maybe her son will come with her. Which maybe am I going to use? Maybe. Uh, compound. Compound. And so also, the check it. When I say that, if you use a compound, maybe what else can happen? You can put a possibility. You can, could you say possibly her son will come with her? Yes. And I also said you could do what? Like, can you just say her son will come with her? Yes. Makes sense. Okay, this one. My sister may be the first nurse to be on time. Maybe. Like, the, verb, the, the verb. The verb. So we know if it's the verb, then what? You can't leave it out. Can, so, uh, can we insert possibly? Can you say my sister possibly the first nurse to be on time? No. No, no doesn't have an anniversary. Very good. One day, oh. maybe I'll learn to swim. The compound. The compound, yeah. Because one day, possibly, I'll learn to swim. Okay, and you know what? Since it can be left out, oh, I just misspelled left. Since it can be left out, what else could we do with this word? <laughs> we can take it out. <laughs> we can put commas around it. Because remember, commas, unnecessary uh, information is non-essential. So you could say, one day I will be, I will learn to swim. And that is actually me. One day maybe I will learn to swim. That's on my bucket list. Except I don't want to get wet, so maybe I won't learn how to swim. Huh? The last one. My son. Verb. My son may be moving soon. Yeah, I think it's a verb. Yeah, it has to be in the sentence. Right. Uh, you need that to make the sentence make sense? Yeah, because you can't say my son moving soon. Okay. So it is the verb. And the verb is two different words. And, the, and this being a verb, this is like a helping, two helping verbs. Two helping verbs. A couple more practice sentences. Listen to this one. This is my favorite. Sweets may be dangerous to your health. Which one? Uh, sweets. Po sweets possibly... Mm -hmm. Dangerous no, to your health? No verb. Okay. Next one. My father may be able to help me fix my car. Verb. Uh, possibly. My father possibly could help me fix my car? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, the next one. It may be the longest lines ever at the polls. Maybe verb. Maybe verb. Why? Because we can't leave it out, can we? Okay, and the last one. Maybe he can tell them about the game, which we saw last night. Possibly, possibly. Very good. Um, it's not always true, but in most cases, if the maybe is at the beginning of the sentence, it's uh, compact. I mean, it's used. 